converting rates. Converting rates involves converting one or both of the units that are involved. Let's have a look at 100 kilometers per hour. So remember, kilometers is a measure of distance and hour is a measure of time. And there are many measures of distance and time and we could convert it maybe into meters per second. So we're going to try and convert 100 kilometers per hour in terms of meters per second. So the way I like doing it, I like changing it to a fraction. So 100 kilometers over one hour. Because remember, per hour means per one hour. Now I'm just going to convert them separately. I want to convert the kilometers into meters and I want to convert the hours into seconds. So to convert kilometers into meters, I'm going to times that by a thousand because that'll convert it to meters. And to convert hours into seconds, I'm going to times it by 60 to convert it into minutes, then times it by 60 again to convert it into seconds. Doing this, well, 100 times a thousand is going to be a hundred thousand and that's going to give us meters. 1 times 60 times 60 is going to be 3,600 and that's going to get us into seconds. And we can see we've now got it in the units that we want. We wanted meters per second and that's exactly what we've got, meters per second. And once you do that, all you have to do is divide these numbers with each other. So we just do 100,000 divided by 3,600. And if we do that, we get 27.8 and we can just write meters Per second and that's to one decimal place. Let's have a look at another example. We want to convert $40,000 per year into dollars per day. So we only want to convert one of these units because dollars is staying as dollars but we want to convert years to days. So let's write it as a fraction first. So that's $40,000 over one year. Dollars I want to keep the same. So we can just write that again. So we don't have to change that one. The years I want to change. To change years from days, I need to multiply by 365. So that's going to give us $40,000 over 365 days and we've got the units we need because we wanted to convert to dollars per day and we've got dollars on the top and days on the bottom exactly what we want. Once we get that we just divide the 40,000 by 365 and that gives us $109.50 59 cents per day. One more example. I'm going to convert a thousand milliliters per second into liters per hour. So this is one where I need to convert both units because milliliters we want to change to liters and seconds we want to change to hours. So first step, write as a fraction thousand milliliters for one second. Now to convert milliliters to liters, we need to divide by a thousand. And to convert seconds to hours, we need to divide it by 60 to convert it to minutes, then divide it by 60 again to convert it to hours. So let's do that. 1,000 divided by 1,000 just gives us 1, and we now have it in litres. 1 divided by 60, divided by 60 again, gives us a small number, 0 0.000277. And now we've successfully got hours. And once we have the right units, because we wanted litres per hour, and we've got litres per hour, we just divide these numbers with each other. So 1 divided by this small number, so whenever you divide by a small number, you actually get a big number. So 1 divided by 0 0.000277 is going to actually give us 
3,600 litres per hour. Thank you.